Good morning, dreamers. Welcome to your perfect day at Coco Cay. We are going to enjoy all the adventures here at Royal Caribbean's new island here in the Bahamas. Check out, hopefully check out the balloon. Mommy and Allison didn't get to do that last time. We'll put a link to that video up in the eye in the sky. But we're hoping the wind stays down today and we can actually get up in the balloon. We're gonna try that out. A little relaxation and of course, some great food. So let's go on an adventure for our perfect day at Coco Cay. I'm thinking this is not a good sign. That's where the balloon is supposed to be. No balloon. Nowhere. It's not even up in the sky. No balloon. I'm guessing they took it down for Hurricane Dorian and just haven't put it back up yet. Hunter thinks they just haven't blown it up yet. I don't think that's right. What do you guys think? Does that look like something they're just gonna blow up and have ready later today? I don't think so. Dang it, no balloon again. Yes, I just confirmed that the balloon was taken down for Hurricane Dorian and they still haven't put it back up. So no balloon. So we're gonna hang out at the beach for a little bit. They have, look at this, they have their own little lagoon. This, look, look their own private little lagoon with all kinds of chairs. So we're gonna go hang out and relax for a little bit. We got off the ship very early so we could get on the balloon. No balloon. Hunter's getting some juice and then we're gonna relax and see what our plan is for the day. I can tell you this, we are not going to go to the thrill park. Hunter and mommy were just here, they just did it. Like I said, I'll put the link to that video up in the eye in the sky so you can check out the water park. Hunter and I are just here on a father-daughter trip and we're just going to relax today. No thrill rides, no big water slides. Although, did you know they had the tallest water slide in North America? Not just the Caribbean, not just the US, all of North America is right here at Coco Cay. mozzarella sticks and burgers and hot dogs and it's awesome mom and i got a um we got mozzarella sticks and we got funnel cake nice it was really good yesterday we were in nassau and didn't really do a whole lot. We never get off the ship in Nassau, so we really just stayed on board and relaxed. But I did want to talk a little bit about what Nassau looked like, and I'll show you some footage of Nassau. Everyone asked us before we went on this trip, wait, you're going to the Bahamas? Didn't they just get hit by a Cat 5 hurricane? And they did, but it was a different part of the Bahamas. It was actually north of where we are now. So Nassau and Coco Cay really didn't get hit too badly and they're still able to take cruise ships there. It really didn't even look like anything had happened in Nassau. So here, take a look at the footage I got from Nassau and you'll see for yourself. It's still good to go for cruise ships and for cruises for you and your family.
we are going to take a ride on the tram that goes all the way around the island, give you an idea of where it takes you. Just to let you know, there are two different trams. There's one that goes around Coco Cay, and then there's smaller ones that go back and forth between the ship and the island. So make sure you're getting on the right tram when you're gonna ride the tram. Point out there are two Royal Caribbean ships here on the island today and look at all these available chairs at the beach. There are chairs available everywhere. There's even hammocks available, even with two ships in port. Royal Caribbean told us that they will never fill this island, so you will never have an issue finding a chair. Maybe have an issue finding a hammock, but definitely not a chair. Behind me, you can see the straw market. And so this is your place to shop for little souvenirs and things at Coco K. They do have Coco K themed merchandise. I will tell you there's a lot of different little shops along here, but they all pretty much have the same thing. So just something to keep in mind, but they do have their own little straw market here at Coco K. We had the perfect day at Coco K. Well, it was okay. Yeah, it was okay. Hunter wasn't feeling so well, so we came back to the boat a little bit early. She's feeling much better now, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to ruin her perfect day at Coco K. So we just came back to the boat, but we did a lot of exploring of Coco K. Hunter, of course, had already been here recently. I hadn't, I thought it was really cool. As I mentioned, the food was phenomenal. I can't believe the variety and the quality of the food on the island. Yeah. That definitely is a step above some other <laughs> islands we've been to. We did try to do a few excursions, but we were too late trying to book them. The one that I will mention that I think is crazy is they do have a swim with the pigs excursion at Coco Cay. That's something I only thought was available at like maybe Atlantis, or if you're on Exuma Island, because they're near Exuma, but Coco Cay has their own Swim with the Pigs excursion, so something you might want to check out if that's on your bucket list. I know that's one that's on a lot of people's bucket lists. That was our perfect day at Coco Cay. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to click that red subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like it. And, and, keep on dreaming. Love you!